Hi, welcome to 151 Garage. I'm Sean. I'm Jill. Diesel's kissing Jill. And uh, we are actually going on our way to see our Bronco. So the Bronco that we're looking for is her Bronco Badlands, the one that she ordered during her cancer treatment and during her recovery and stuff like that. We were just notified, we've been watching it, that it is on its way to the dealership as we speak. So we're gonna try to race it there and try to get some footage of it pulling in and getting off the vehicle. So uh, it's be a good day. It's been 588 days today. And one lost train container later. Yeah, and one <laughs> lost train container later. So uh, if you don't know about that one, we'll put a link down below. They did lose our vehicle. They did lose the entire container, actually. And found it. And I was able to find it and get it rerouted back with the help from some people at the train station or at the rail company and the truck company. So again, you know, see you there. Bye. Oh, really? I think that's the only one that's coming off that truck for, so it's perfect. Oh, it is blocking all their stuff, isn't it? You have no idea how happy I am to see you right now, because that's my car. Out there. I only told him thank you for it. Uh... Oh, look at that. Man. It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> it's been a long wait. It's been almost like two years for this car. Oh, no shit. It's been a long time. It's perfect. You'll be driving your Bronco today, won't you? Yes. I really like the color. Mm -hmm. like, it really looks good. It looks totally different with the hard top versus the soft top. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to park and park them next to each other, obviously, and do some comparisons on just the differences of it. Hey, those flares look alike. He's gonna get these off quick because he's not gonna undo everything to move it. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, just this one. Owen. Oh, Thank Thanks a lot, man. Owen, oh, take care of my baby. Okay, sweetheart. I know I will. <laughs> wow. Rock rails. Yeah, you know I will. Thank you. Nice. Oh, he's friendly. Come here, boy. He's very friendly. This is Jill and her new Bronco. So, we just picked this up today. Cactus Gray Badlands. And, uh, first startup. 
You're gonna have fun with this? This is the one she can actually drive because it is a manual. Boo. It's an automatic. Or sorry, this is automatic. Boo. <laughs> Boo. Anyways, mm. I can't wait to be able to drive this. I have to have her permission for tomorrow? Yes. Okay, tomorrow. You have that on camera. I have it on camera right we here. We waited 585 days for this car. <laughs> okay, so I will meet you at our spot and we'll uh, go talk from there. Okay. okay. See you there. Hey. Ding, ding. All right, so this one has the 2.7 liter, so this is the V6, whereas the Finn, the Big Bend, has the four cylinder, which is the 2.3 liter. So I got a bigger engine than this one. Camera quality. Yeah, for the reverse camera. Oh, okay. Diesel says he wants to ride in it too. Liking this. It's the first time she's been able to drive this vehicle. She hasn't driven this one because of the stick. She's not used to it. I have a feeling she's just ear to ear smile the whole time. <laughs> oh my god. And I got my camera on too. So do I. We're trying to make conversation so we can kind of clip it together as we're driving, kind of like how they do at Star Trek. Uh, uh, Trek, whatever. Car treks. Yeah, same difference. Star Trek and Car Trek? Yeah. Car track is what I said, not star track. Just get to the street. Seems drives like a dream. I wouldn't know. Yeah, you do. You have one. Not yours. <laughs> can't remember I have stuff on my pants from the tires I tell you what the visibility out of the back window is a big difference what you don't have wrinkles like I do It looks really nice with the uh, hard top. It looks totally different than this one. Hey, look to the left of me, there's a cute little lowrider. I like that. Yeah, he gave the thumbs up. 
He'll give you the thumbs up too. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> it's on air, but... <laughs> I like that. I like the low rider stuff. I like the little uh, low rider truck. Yeah, that one looked really cool. Yeah, that one looked really cool. <laughs> It's clean. So we lower the black diamonds? No. Oh God, that thing is scraping the ground. That's cool as shit, I like that. Low rider at heart. So here's the big question. How is the 2.3 liter manual compared to the 2.7 liter automatic. I'll find out that tomorrow. I'm gonna be driving that tomorrow. I'll let you guys know at a later date of just how different the two vehicles are. Obviously manual versus automatic is gonna be a huge difference, but I'm talking to powertrain as well. Since you can't get a 2.7 in a manual, we'll see, maybe that'll come later on. You definitely can't mistake in those uh, headlights, that's for sure. Holy crap. They uh, make that much of a difference? Uh, yeah, there's absolutely totally different than the standard ones. It's, it really looks neat for that vehicle. The signature headlights look badass. So what Sean is talking about is the difference between the headlights. What I have on this one is the Signature Series, so it's a lot different and a lot brighter than what's on the Big Ben Series, which is just basic LEDs. It's not the Signature. So it's a lot different. And we'll show you the difference later on. has a lot of get up and go and um, acceleration as soon as if it wasn't so crowded right now because school's getting out and all that stuff i would try and get it and tell you exactly you anything with the camera yeah so you just interrupted it hang on wow <laughs> so as far as the acceleration i'm Right now the streets are really crowded so I really can't tell you how the acceleration is because I don't have a clear path. But once we find an area that is clear and I can just gun it just a little bit, I can tell you how the acceleration is on this. But I just can't do it right now because school's getting let out and everybody and their mother is out getting their kids and the buses are out so it's just it's crowded. Not to mention it's the beginning of rush hour because we got the paperwork signed so late. But as soon as I'm able to do like an acceleration test on it, I will. And I'll let you know how that goes. But from what I can tell so far, it does very well. And we got this thing with two miles on it, y'all. That's how new this thing is. But it has 11.7 miles on it. Meanwhile, he's getting very uh, good at stabilization. Probably better than the GoPro does. This isn't from the GoPro. This is him getting used to us driving. Wait till we go off road and do a couple dips. He absolutely does pretty good. I wouldn't say perfect, but does pretty damn good. I can get 
give you kind of an idea how the acceleration is. Very good. Picks up immediately when you step on the throttle. Very responsive. I love it. That's a nice looking Bronco. I love the color. I don't know if I said it before, but the hard top versus this looks totally different. It looks like a completely different Bronco. It actually looks pretty proportionate with the hard top itself. I know there's issues. And I'm sure we'll find some later on with the hard top, but right now I have to the say. The on this is very good. Now she interrupted me. Let me get this. I was having a conversation with the with the uh, subscribers. Thank you. <laughs> so you know how I felt. <laughs> Touche. So having multiple Broncos was not anywhere near what our plan was. We were just gonna get that one. Uh, that's the one that she reserved and we ordered when she was fighting cancer. Now, during that time frame, it just seemed to multiply a little bit with, how about we go ahead and order a Black Diamond? That way we can get it a little bit faster, enjoy it for a little bit, and then get this one. And I'll have one and she'll have one. Um, then she ended up getting a Bronco Sport. And then we were told we were being delayed for both our other Broncos and we weren't going to get them anytime soon. Well, guess what? Uh, we found this one. This one was for sale. It wasn't that expensive. And we went ahead and bought this one and started modifying it to kind of see what makes the Bronco tick, meaning a lot of different... Uh, a lot of different Broncos and there are a lot of different things we can do to this to modify it, which we totally enjoy modifying this vehicle. You got it, boy? Okay. He's practice. He's our four-wheel drive dog. She's taking every bump, really? Testing out that suspension, I guess. Good boy. How are you liking it? I absolutely love it. So driving this as compared to the Sport, they drive both very well. And it's very hard to pick and choose. Like if I only had this and the Sport to drive, which one would drive the best? Cause they both handle very well. It depends on what you want to do with it. Exactly. So if but you want to go off-roading a lot, this would be it. If you want to go to the mall a lot, sport. Here's, here's the differences I've noticed compared to the Mick as to the soft top. With the Mick, it's very quiet inside. Um, even without the headliner uh, that you can get with this, it's very quiet. Uh, the visibility in the back window is amazing. Uh, you have the entire back window, even with the tire raised up, that's not a problem, but the, just the entire side view of the back window is great. Um, he was saying something on the, the walkie-talkies about the lights. There is a very big difference. These are signatures, where that is just this a regular, regular LED. Yeah. So these are a lot better these than are, what those are. These are the ones that everybody looks at that yeah. sees. So. Um, just, had very good acceleration. I finally had an area where it was clear enough in traffic because right now school's getting out so everybody's out to get their kids, but the acceleration is very, very good. It picks up very well. It can get out of its own way and then some. Um, handling is really good. We haven't really messed with the stereo too much yet, so I'm gonna try and do that next and see how the sound quality is versus what that is, even though we replaced most of the speakers in that. Um, if not all of them. So before she goes any further, she's never driven no. the Bronco. She's never driven that one. So she's always ridden in the passenger seat. 
I'm more curious about how she felt with how it handled and stuff like that versus the passenger seat. Passenger seat can say stuff, but being the driver of it. It handles great. So she's had a grin ever since we saw it <laughs> show up. In fact, we didn't have it on camera and I wish I did. Mimic what you did when we saw it drive up in the truck. It's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. <laughs> This is me sitting in a passenger seat. It's here, it's here, it's here. That's how she was. And I was like, holy crap. I'm like, why didn't I have the camera on the entire time? We're trying to like scramble and get everything together to get to filming of it coming off the truck. And I'm just like, it's here, it's here. So as you can tell, the enjoyment and the, the uh, you know, excitement of it being here is really, what the hell is he doing? Don't mind our dog. He's a little bit broken today. <laughs> Diesel. No, you're not going to go for a walk. You're going to go home here in a second. So the enjoyment that she's had driving it for the first time is very wonderful. I'm so happy I'm able to get it. Uh, we had a lot of people watch out for it for us. And we had eyes of, on this thing for yeah. a long time. We had tracker on it showing the precise area where the vehicle is coming in in fact we watched it on the tracker showing that it was getting close and then we saw it come around the corner for the dealership so yep. it was actually uh pretty like, pretty like i neat. said we were just parked getting ready to get all our stuff out to get ready to film it coming in and all of a sudden i see it just pulling in i'm like it's here and again for everybody that that doesn't know this was ordered a while ago, like I said before, 100, uh, 588 days when she was fighting cancer and she was getting over her surgery and chemo and everything like that when she was going through recovery. So this right here is the vehicle that was... This is the Bronco that started it all. The this emotional is, support Bronco. Well, yeah. Well, this is the Bronco that literally started off the YouTube channel because yeah. I was, like he was saying, I was laid up recovering from surgery and everything. We saw the reveal. This is what we ordered wasn't what we reserved but what we ordered because we changed it from a wild track to a badland yeah and uh yeah this is literally the bronco that started off our youtube channel and the reason it's so important to me is because we were working on an 86 bronco together before she got struck with cancer yeah and she sold that to cover some of the initial bills from the surgeries and from not being at work and I regret it because I wish I could have kept it to work on it with her as a big time project, making it, you know, whatever we wanted. But since she sold it, I promised I would get something to replace it for her, especially when the Bronco came out, they announced it was coming out. I told her if she liked it and it was something that we looked at and we liked, I would get her one. I let her pick out everything with it and this is it the bronco badlands 2021 even though it's 2022 and uh you know i'm glad it's here it, it really has been a trying time i'll tell you that it's, it's been, been real journey. trying it's been a journey that's for sure and thank you to everyone who supported us and always yeah. asks us about it we have it and, and it's gonna, gonna be for those that are watching that was helping us track this thing yeah. thank you so much yeah especially especially those people we were we were getting a lot of information pretty quick on this like we had a lot of eyes on this mm -hmm. even though it was lost for 40 something days, days <laughs> we had a lot of eyes trying to find it and stuff like that with help yeah. from the trucking company and the rail company they were able to find the box car where it went and got it turned back around to be delivered to the proper places yeah. along with some of the other vehicles in fact i did meet or talk to somebody whose vehicle was in the same container as this he just received his bronco friday so congratulations for you if you're watching that you got your bronco we finally got ours we got so, your container buddy yeah container <laughs> buddy right here um but again we're gonna go drive a little bit more and have some fun and I'm hopefully i'm gonna try out the stereo and let you guys know how that is we're gonna have a lot of mods for this as well not necessarily like that but we want to make this more of a overlanding camping type equipped vehicle yeah. uh 
this so will we be can the, go um, like the recovery gear hauler for my matching sport this is the uh, the big boy of the, the sport the brother where the sport's going to be the toy hauler this is going to be all the recovery gear yeah recovery gear um, and here. stuff but we'll uh let you go and we'll see you at diesel wants to go home He'd but, uh, out and please like subscribe hit the notification bell and like i said stay tuned because there's a lot of stuff going on with these also they are in the lookout for our black diamond waiting to find out what's going on yeah. with that uh, as soon as that gets in we're going to be tearing that thing completely apart changing a lot of body panels and interior pieces so. yeah that was still up there in michigan waiting for a chip yep so for all those people who haven't gotten theirs that's why keep keep your keep your hopes up it really will come, come eventually uh <laughs> ours was a very days. long day our ours was a very long time of waiting so we finally got it and we're glad so anyways congratulations to jill for being able to drive a bronco for once yeah. instead of that bronco sports Okay, see you guys later. Hope to see you next video. Bye. Bye.